Hello everybody, happy Star Wars Day, 4th of, uh, Thursday the 4th of May 2023, who knew eh? four and a half weeks and I'm still here in the hospital, um, everything was looking good, I was determined to get home on Friday, Friday, what day is this, Thursday, is it Thursday? Yeah, anyway, uh, I was determined to get home on Friday. Obviously, that did materialise. Um, they were determined that I was staying in. The docs they advised against going home um, because it was a, a, a fine balance between um, basically not surviving and going home. So, you know, you take their advice on it. Anyway, here we are. So, um, everything was looking good, as I say. Uh, I was mobility wise, I managed to do, I've got a wee gym here in the hospital, like four or five stairs, I managed to do the four or five stairs, like five times, so I got signed off for physio, OT, occupational therapist, I was putting everything in place in the house, um, everything was good, um, and that was pretty much it. It's not Thursday, Friday this week. Uh, sorry, I can't remember. I don't know if it was Friday this week or not. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, so I, this morning when I woke up, um, I was feeling fine. Well, I can't say I was feeling fine because I can't remember anything. Um, I woke up, turned around to the side and the blood just pew spewed from me. Uh, all over the bed, over the pillow, all over me. Um... So I've had two pints of blood since then, um, a pint of um, plasma, uh, loads of blood thickeners, loads of um, anti antivirus, antibacterial, whatever it is, drips. Um, I've had uh, ones that make you stop bleed, so hopefully that's the drips I'll finish for tonight. Um, I might be able to get asleep. It's now sort of like 25 past one in the morning of Thursday the 4th of May. Um, so not yesterday wasn't a good day. I zonked out from, I guess, two o'clock in the morning. They got, I got told two o'clock in the morning because the same nurse tonight. Um, it was last night uh, that uh, I, took, I took a turn and... Uh, I didn't actually really wake up until 12 o'clock, until Michelle came in. But since then, I've been absolutely fine. I mean, a um, bit sleepy now and again, but I mean, everything's fine now. So they were, they were thinking that maybe I'd had to go to uh, get an endoscopy just to check, but all the bloods have seemed to have subsided, um, being sick with the bloods, so... Um, fingers crossed that doesn't happen again. Um, so let's look forward to see what the next few days brings. Yeah. Um, the nurse has been an absolute star. Um, I think her name's Erica. She's been an absolute star on this. And so is uh, Miklos and uh, all the other staff and the doctors as well. I, suppose, I, I can't remember his name, but... Um, I call him the wee doctor. <laughs> he's, he's now a ward too. He's, he's on a different ward anyway. Um, but he came and took bloods off me after my my blood transfusion and uh, and bit of chat. So he's really, really nice. Really, really, really nice. He's a really fantastic bed manner. Unlike some of these consultants who can be complete twats. But anyway, um, I'll leave it there for now because I think I've spoken enough. Um and just get try and get some sleep, but uh, as I say, fingers crossed, all looking good now. It's just a matter of waiting on this liver coming. Basically, if it doesn't come soon, then that's it.
Ich sehe so nichts Wurst. Ein großer Rollgang und das hin. Aber ihr lässt in den Hands und ihr habt die Wort für es. You know, they're trying their hardest to get a liver, but it's obviously um, it's, it's not coming. So who knows what the future brings at this moment in time. Maybe I'll speak to you later. Hey, bye.